Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, during this Saturday of the third week in Lent, we meditate on the episode of the Holy Gospel according to St. John, where a woman was caught in adultery and was brought before Jesus. The people who led this woman before Jesus asking him, what should we do with this woman? The law of Moses is telling us to stone this woman to death. What do you say? They were trying to tempt Jesus, to catch him out. Because if Jesus had said this woman has to be free, he would go against, directly against the law of Moses. If Jesus had said this woman needs to be put to death, this would have been against directly his teaching, the teaching about loving and forgiving. What should we do then? So you see now in this moment, they try to tempt Jesus and uh, to possibly accuse him to be either against the law or against, in fact, his own new teaching. But now, when we reflect on this beautiful gospel, we find out something which is only divine and can only be divine. Jesus did not answer immediately that question, but was writing with his finger in the dust, on the ground. What is he writing? And the people are waiting for his answer. What do you say? Jesus then uh, looked at them and said in a very divine way, this is the point, this, uh, this teaching of our Lord can only come from God. He who is without sin, let him cast the first stone at her. And uh, he then kept writing on the ground, in the dust. The people were confused, of course. Who is without sin? They were not able to judge that woman. And then they began one after one to go. One by one they left that woman there and went their way. So what we reflect, what we understand now in this uh, teaching, in this new teaching is that of course adultery is completely wrong in itself. It is grievous sin. But there is a possibility to be forgiven. And especially those people accusing this woman were not able to stone this woman to death because they themselves had committed some sins and they were themselves in need of forgiveness. We all need this forgiveness. So the core teaching of this gospel is this. Jesus then came to this woman and said, where are they? No one accused you. No one put you to death. Neither will I condemn you. But there is a condition to get this forgiveness. Go and sin no more. This is the wonderful Christian teaching. We all need this forgiveness. We are not able to judge another person to the point of putting that person to death because of uh, his her sin, because of this immorality of life, but we all need to amend our lives and not to sin anymore. Go and sin no more. <clears throat> this is the word that we hear 
when we go to confession, after confessing our sins. This has always to be a proposal of life to be now uh, ready to give up that situation. Forgiveness, then, is the way to be restored completely in God's grace by making this new proposal of life to change one's life. Not to remain in that condition, of course, but to be ready to change one's life and to live in this way in chastity, in a purity of conscience. We see this episode in contrast, of course, with the first reading of this Mass, the beautiful account of the chaste woman, beautiful but chaste Susanna, who was going to be put to death by two unjust men who were uh, now lustful after her. And they tried to, uh, to have an intercourse with this woman, but uh, this woman was, was righteous and uh, fearing God. And she said, no, I won't uh, sin against God. Better to fall into your hands, to be unjustly judged by you than sinning against God. God uh, let a, an innocent boy rise, Daniel, who judged these two vicious men, and Susanna triumphed in her uh, innocence and uh, fidelity to her husband. So we see two women in contrast here, the first reading and the gospel, but one single teaching. Forgiveness is not a way to cover up a sin and say, okay, don't worry, you keep sinning because God is merciful. No. Forgiveness is a way to be made anew by God's grace, by the blood of Christ, because of this new law of love, the new teaching of Christ. But there is a condition not to sin anymore, to live in a newness of life, to live in the, with the grace of Christ, to be chaste, to be pure. Let's then today look at these two beautiful examples, the first reading and the gospel, and try to imitate ourselves that uh, fidelity of Susanna, and also let us hear once again this divine teaching of our Lord, who is without sin, let him cast a stone to this woman. We need that forgiveness. We need to remain in this, in this grace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.